I was like, who the hell are you? What happened to my husband? <laughs> Friends and family, it's time for another video on comfortable conversations with a married woman. In this version, we're going to talk about children to have or not to have. That is the question. <laughs> so if you're interested, go ahead, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's talk. So I think there is some kind of a misconception or illusion that people get married in order to have children. That couldn't be furthest from the truth. Why? I guess maybe from history and, you know, our ancestors and everything, that was a purpose. You get married, you have children. That's the whole reason why you're together. You know, go forth and multiply. <laughs> but in today's day and age, it's not necessarily the, the same. So... It's a very interesting topic to me, especially when I learned that there are other women that, like me, didn't have children in their plans at all <laughs> when they got married. There are several misconceptions. One is that you're expected to have children. Number two is that the essence of a woman, the whole reason you're a woman, <laughs> is to have children. Okay, And then number three, if as a woman you don't want children, you are frowned upon. So the reason why I'm doing this video is to let you know if you're not married yet and you're thinking about getting married, talk about it. Don't assume that your partner thinks that if you get married, you're going to have children or when you get married, you're going to have children automatically. Don't assume at all. Be intentional about having that conversation because it is, I think, increasingly different in, in these days um, for women to say, no, I don't, I don't have children. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's, it's very, very common nowadays. So I'll have to admit yours truly was one of them. Okay. It honestly, and, and you have to watch my, my video about baggage. Having children was not in my plans in life at all. Neither was getting married. One of the reasons why getting married wasn't even in my plans at all was that misconception that you're going to have, have, to, have to have children because you're married or you're getting married so that you will have children. Does it, I don't even understand why in this day and age people think that it is a must Look at how many children are out there that are in orphanages. Not because their parents, you know, died or something happened to their parents, but because they were not planned and they were a surprise. Who's going to adopt all of these children? You know, I, there are so many out there that, that need help and the other side of that also is even if you don't want to adopt because you don't want children period that's okay too it's important for all of us to understand that and not put pressures on people because i think some of that pressure is what results in children being a surprise and ending up in orphanages or, or homes. It's just not fair to the child. Children do not ask to be born. So we have to be very, very cognizant before we decide to have children. Biblically, Bible days till today, it is frowned upon if you have children outside of wedlock. It is what it is. Yeah, I do want to get married, but I don't want to have children. It's just, it just seems conflicting. It's like, going opposite directions just doesn't make sense to people so please have that conversation before you decide to get married have that discussion don't tell me that because i don't want to have children that i'm not a woman or i'm less than or you know <clears throat> who are you 
and I don't care, okay? And I feel like increasingly I am seeing women like myself and I appreciate them for having the, and I'm going to be a little bit vulgar here, for having the balls to say, I don't want children. I don't want to have them on my own. I don't want to adopt. And I'm still human and I'm still a woman. Take it or leave it. Okay. I am finding also that there are women who, when time comes and they want to have children and they are unable to do it naturally, they feel less than. I don't understand that either. The biological situation is just not happening. Move on. But they go through so much and get, you know, the in vitro and the injections and the hormones and the, oh, but it's not for me to understand. Everybody has their own choice. Um, I just implore women, if you don't want to have children or if you can't have children, not to feel less than, you are still a woman in every sense of the word, 100,000%. Okay, having children does not make you a woman. You are a woman before you decide to have children or not to have children, and that's fine. So I want that to be very, very clear. As you can see, I'm very passionate about that. I think some women are forced into, or they feel forced into that situation because of the way people think. To hell with them, I'm sorry. But anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> you and your spouse to be, must have that conversation. It shouldn't be assumed. I really, really want to keep making that point. It should not be assumed that you're having, uh, you're getting married um, to have children or that you're getting married and the next thing to do is to have children. It shouldn't be assumed. Now, if you have that discussion and one of you wants to have children and the other one doesn't, what do you do? I see a lot of people try to convince the one who doesn't want to have children and say, you see, you'll see, you'll change your mind. You know, you'll change your mind. It, it's just, it's natural to want to have children when you get married. So you're going to change your mind. Just, just give it time. Just give it time. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Don't, don't force the other person into that corner because that's exactly what you're doing. And it makes it very, very difficult for that person to, to be open and honest with you when it comes to, you know, that topic. Because then, of course, they're starting to feel guilty because it seems like you're saying they're not normal because they don't want to have children. Who wouldn't want to have children? And that was said to me. I, <laughs> I didn't, I just didn't. I just, and my husband was fine with it. He's like, whatever you want. And I'm like, it's not what I want. Do you understand? I mean, you have to, are we on the same page? And he's like, sure. I said, okay. But I started getting newspaper clippings from a certain individual. You know, we were married for, you know, for our first seven years. It was just amazing. And I'll tell you what, if you do choose to have children, please wait, please wait. If you can, if biologically it's okay to wait, please wait. Because you have to get to know your spouse before the children come. Because once the children come, <laughs> you see other sides of your spouse that you just, I did. Let me just say I did. Didn't anticipate, didn't expect. I was like, who the hell are you? What happened to my husband? You are not him. You go back wherever you came from and get my husband back to me because this is not it. I will tell you it brought some strife and some challenges. <laughs> I still remember it to this day. So I am so glad that I waited for seven years. We waited for seven years. And yes, we did change our minds. And there was a thought process that went into that. Um, it wasn't from pressure from other people at all. Again, I could give two rats asses, you know, what anybody thought whether I should have children or not. Obviously, there were whisperings, you know, and even my friends started to ask me, well, you know, why aren't you having children? I don't want to. It is not one person's decision. It is not just a woman's decision. It's not just a guy's decision to have children. Although, children come from the women. So, I think the woman should have more of a weight 
when it comes to their decision whether to have children or not because the the brunt of the work <laughs> is on the woman okay let's just be clear i mean biologically there's a dude can have children so the woman has to know and be ready <laughs> be ready it will change you in ways that you never expected now some women love being mothers I absolutely love being mothers i feel like i was born to be one because it was natural for me when i had children i could tell from the way the child cried or the way the child moved what was wrong with the child it was very very easy for me i knew whether they had pain in their ear whether they had a sore throat or the teeth you know were coming in i knew whether it was a stomach ache or gas i could tell i could tell whether they were just starving from just the way that they cried sometimes they finish eating 15 minutes later they're squealing and you're thinking are they sick no the food wasn't enough sometimes the food just wasn't enough <laughs> okay and they had gas and that's why they stopped and now they're ready to eat more so i that was very very easy for me but inherently in my soul i did not want to have children at all it wasn't attractive to me it wasn't a desire of mine and nobody convinced me to change my mind i started thinking 20 years into the future would i think oh it would be nice right now to have a daughter or a son to talk with you know and share ideas with and for them to visit me or for me to visit them and i started thinking of it that way i'm like yeah that wouldn't be a bad thing at all that's the only reason why i changed my mind and i have relatives who didn't have any children and they're just fine but the parents the parents of the 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 man and the parents of the woman please don't push your kids to have children please it is so important for you to leave them the hell alone when it comes to that if you want the best thing for your children allow them to make that decision on their own it is their choice if you do decide to have children you have to talk about this because again it's a game changer in your entire life you have to decide are they going to go to daycare and if they are then you're both working or is one of you still a homemaker or are you choosing not to take your children to daycare but daycare is expensive okay and decide how many children would you like to have again you can't determine the future sometimes the children will come as a surprise however if you can plan where do you want to be living what kind of health insurance do you i mean i i'm a planner i wasn't going to be renting in an apartment when i had children absolutely not if i can't buy a house before i have children i can't afford to have children that was me there was a certain health insurance that I wanted. I didn't want to be going from one caregiver to another. Oh, you need to do a scan here and then take the results here for a diagnosis and then take the results. No, it had to be one place, one building, one entity. So I knew exactly what health insurance I wanted if I had children. I knew the kind of job I should have if I want to have children, not just about the kind of money, but the flexibility of that job for me to be allowed to have a child and to be able to take care of my child while working. I was not going to be a home maker. No ma'am. <laughs> okay. I was not going to do that. I wanted to work. So yes, we had to pay for daycare and I had to be the one going back and forth. I was fine with that. Deciding what daycare they go to deciding, you know, um, what the daycare schedule you can do is it every day of the week, you know, Monday through Friday, or is it going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or is it going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays? There's that kind of flexibility out there. And so I decided all of that before we had children. I am a planner. Not that you can plan everything to the T. No, you can't. There will be some surprises that'll smack you and knock you down. Yes, it will. <laughs> it'll knock you down and you try to get up and it'll kick you in the ribs you fall down again you try to get up it kick you in the teeth you fall down again okay so you have to be very very cognizant don't force anybody into having children there are couples couples also that want to have children where biologically one of you may be having a challenge but for some reason people feel ashamed 
but there's for the man you know the boys aren't swimming or for a woman the eggs just aren't accepting you know or maybe the eggs aren't coming in or in a certain whatever it is you didn't create that situation for yourself i don't understand the shame i really don't i really don't i actually and i hate to say this i actually prayed for an excuse not to have children when i did decide i'm like okay i'm gonna try one time <laughs> or for this period of time if it doesn't happen i'm done and i'd be like thank you jesus then i can actually say listen biologically it's not happening so i'm done no i wasn't that fortunate and it it, it, it was like <clears throat> i remember a friend of mine said oh it takes about a year to get pregnant i said okay you know, I'll try it. And if it doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen. And, and I'm done. And thank you, Jesus. <laughs> At least I can say it wasn't my fault. But yeah, got off birth control. Three weeks later, three weeks. And I had already planned a cruise. I had planned to live my best life that final year of freedom <laughs> before having children. And surprise. So it was a difficult thing for me to take in. Very difficult. Whereas people share the news on, yes, yes, yes. I was, and, and, and my coworker told me, you were evil. I, and I truly was. I wished for things that no human being should ever wish for when I found out I was pregnant. And it was a, one of those where those first four months were just throwing up every day. Blistering headache every day. Can't smell even the smallest perfume would make me nauseous. It was just, ugh, ugh. But, you know, I did it. And my kids are 16 and 14 now. And they're just the joy of my life. I have to tell you, regardless of how exhausted I may be, I think of them and I just, just get energy. Just amazing, amazing young ladies that I have. And I'm so grateful to God for having mercy on me for the evil that was in my mind when I first conceived. The second one, I was like, okay, I already have one child. I'm shackled. I'm in chains. I'm a slave. I have children. I'm a slave. So <laughs> slave to one, slave to 20. It doesn't matter at this point. I'm already enslaved. So by the very first one, I was not expecting because I was told it'll take a while. So all that to say, children change your entire being they change your entire um way of living for me the reason why i didn't want to have children because i didn't want to make those sacrifices that i knew i had to make i saw my parents not make the sacrifice for me and i saw what i could have become if it wasn't for a grandmother who was always on her knees always on her knees praying for me and if it wasn't for her i wouldn't have turned out the way i turned out because of my parents so because i saw that of myself and i saw it of my brothers and i saw other children in my family going through that my cousins i'm like i know i know what it takes to be a parent and i don't want to have to do that it is self-sacrificing not even just self-sacrificing like you forget yourself you forget of yourself because your children's needs come first the most important thing, yes, you make sure you're healthy so that you can take care of your children. But if you have one morsel of food left to eat between you and your child, your child must get it. You drink water, okay? Knowing that is how I would want to be as a parent, uh-uh. I said, no, it's all about me now. It's all about me. I am first and the last and the only. So I am not having children because I don't want to have to do that. I just, but I loved children. Oh my gosh, I love children. I always wanted to work in a daycare because I think children are just the most amazing creatures. They're just so pure in their thoughts and in their words and in their deeds, just so pure. Anything that comes in their mind comes out of their mouth. <laughs> I just found it just incredible. I love children, but I didn't want to be the one sacrificing myself and my life to mold them into who they, they, they could become. 
And that was my reason. So if somebody decides that they don't want to do that, it's okay. If they don't want to have children, it's okay. Don't try to convince them to have children. Leave them alone. Okay. If they decide they don't want to have children, but they want to adopt children, that's fine too. Okay. Because listen, my body was amazing before I had children. And then I had children, I'm like, oh, gravity took hold of all kinds of things. Anyway, with that being said, and I know I've run long on this video, but I, I find it's a very, very, very important thing to discuss when it comes to whether you'll have children or not. Nobody nobody should push anybody into that decision nobody should decide for the other person nobody should assume that because you're getting married you're going to have children nobody and i'm talking about parents of the the, the the couple and grandparents of the couple and stop asking them when are you going to have children don't do that because if they're going through something if they're going through challenges trying to have children and you're asking them those kinds of questions you're making the pain worse you're making their soul your soul is going to be, be tense. And if your soul is tense and your body is tense and your emotions are tense because of expectations from other people and your spouse, you can't have children. You just your, your, your body just won't do it. It just won't. When you're already having challenges, it just won't happen. So leave people alone. Leave people alone. Let them decide if they want to have children or not. But that's an important conversation between the two. Okay? Only those two people. Nobody else very important as you can see i'm very passionate about it nobody else okay and that's all i'm gonna say about that <laughs> so with that being said remember to have a successful and thriving marriage you have to be kind to yourself and to your spouse and you have to be respectful to yourself and to your spouse okay have a fantastic week and i'll see you next thursday